Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, well, what is step three after you have cleaned with a fresh start with a reset this PC? After you have made sure that you're up to date in Windows? Well, most of the PCs often come with the basic drivers that were first generation and there have been updates because a lot of the new PCs, the drivers were buggy and they made updates to these different drivers over time. So what I suggest is that you check for updates to the different drivers. Now the best place to do so is the manufacturer of your PC. So if you have a PC that's from Dell, for example, then I would suggest that you go to Dell.com or HP.com and or Lenovo or depending on your uh, PC's um, brand. And there you will actually go into the support. Now you have laptops, desktop, but often support will give you drivers and downloads in the, most of the different manufacturers. To identify your product, you will enter the product ID, the model. Often they have a tag. You can maybe enter the service tag information. Look, if it's a laptop, look under your laptop. Often there's a sticker with all that information that you need so that you actually have your specific model. And it's very important because you can't use every driver that you see and think it's fine or a similar model that looks the same because it might have the different hardware in it. So you have to find the drivers and update the drivers with this, um, with the latest updates. If that's a little hard for you to do so, you can also, the most manufacturers have a automated support that identifies PC and also the, uh, the uh, different drivers that you need. You could also download and install the support assistant I try to avoid that, but if it's something that might make it easier for you to actually update, well, why not? And so you will have the latest drivers. What are drivers? Well, it's very simple. Drivers are software that actually connect the hardware. So a camera, um, you know, hard drive controllers, the graphics adapter, whatever hardware your PC is using, it needs to talk to Windows. And the drivers are those pieces of software that actually help Windows and that hardware talk and work great and work the best way they can. So update your drivers to the latest versions. Now, yes, there are drivers that might come through Windows Update also. It happens, uh, and often that is not necessarily a bad idea but I recommend that you actually go directly to the manufacturer. That's the best thing that you can do. PC you build yourself? Well, go to the motherboard uh, manufacturer, go to the different manufacturers of the hardware you have inside that PC you built yourself. Update the drivers to the latest versions of every driver for all of the hardware. It should, and we're going to show you how, you can check if everything seems to be working right. By right-clicking the Start button, you can go into Device Manager. What you want to see in the Device Manager is that everything is clean. So, for example, you want everything to look like a nice big list with nothing out of sync. If it comes out with something that's out of sync or something that's not there, like for example, I had one here with the uh, Realtek family controller here, which has a triangle. Something's wrong and often it could simply be that there's a missing driver. So that's why going to the manufacturer, you will have these drivers that will install all of that. And of course, once all of that is updated, it will restart probably several times, but you do one yourself, you know, click at the end of all of that and go and in the power, click the restart button and restart your PC to make sure that everything is set up right and works fine. So now you are at the point where you've installed a basic copy of Windows without all the crapware. You're at the point where it's up to date with all the security updates. And you're at the point where all of the drivers, all of the software that talks to Windows with the hardware you have are up to date. You are now at a great start to use that PC. Next step, 
We're going to talk about things to do and not do also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.